It looks like a scene out of a war film. What you're seeing is actually one of the hottest video games on the market. Call of Duty Black Ops, Halo is also another popular one. They tend to be the more popular sellers. Sean Sodman, owner of this video game store in Lansing, says games are violent, but says that's why games have ratings. Well, the rating system is just like you would rate a movie. There's nothing to force sellers to enforce that. Sodman's turned away potential buyers under the age of 17 before. Intense violence nudity, sexual themes, and strong language. So if you see something like this, you don't let anyone buy it without a parent? Correct. MSU law professor Kevin Saunders says there is evidence linking aggressive behavior to virtual violence. The scientific community seems to be solidly on board with regard to video game violence causing real world violence. He says constitutional challenges make games hard to regulate. Governments at various levels have tried to regulate violent video games and have generally met with a challenge from the court. Vice President Biden's task force met with game reps today to present a set of proposals to the president on Tuesday. We know this is a complex problem and quite frankly we don't even know whether some of the things people think impact on this actually impact on it. We may soon see stricter rules. Sodman says now restrictions are easy to avoid. They'll come right back many times with their mom who will buy them anyway, dis, you know, disregarding the warning. In Lansing, Joe Khalil, 6 News.